So right here, I'm cleaning up the. Uh... All right, so we're gonna get go ahead and get this wing cut out. Um, as you can see, I've already cleaned out the drummit, and um, I'm now just cutting the quills of the wing off of the back of the. Um, this is the drum, and then this is the drumette. Uh, so I'm just cleaning off the quills, releasing those. They attach to the back of this two-piece drum here. Um, very, 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 uh, pretty good. So as I pull back the skin, I release it with my knife. And I cut this little membrane that you can see there. I'll turn it over and then I'll cut it off of this side and you'll see the little white tendons just show up there um, and and uh, that's what you want to cut the little white tendons are usually what holds it together okay so you can't get it that way just turn it over cut and then pull grab a little borax put that over it never hurts to put a little extra on there and then push you can it's a combination of pushing and pulling the skin back at the same time so I'm now just working at those little wings those little quills there, cutting those loose, and you'll see that that meat is there also. And uh, yeah, I'll lose the the drum to this. I'm not too worried about the wing. Um, usually, as long as I have the the main cavity, uh, I'll use that for cooking. Most cases, if you go to a taxidermist um, and want a, a, a bird stuff you have to give them the whole bird and then they'll do it themselves they don't usually want you to uh, skin it they usually skin it themselves okay so I'm going to turn it over and keep going and if your hand starts slipping just apply a little bit more borax and as you pull you'll see the new parts come up and if you need to cut anywhere then you simply cut it apply a little bit more borax and this is all, and Borax is pretty much just laundry detergent, so you can wash this right down the drain. Um, just make sure you put your filter in so you can take the meat out. And now, just steadily cutting. And nipping away. And it starts slipping again. And I'm pushing the wings into itself, put, pushing the quills back into itself. Okay, and we're almost to that knuckle. And the quills, you'll fill them there. You want to keep those intact because what will happen is if you cut them off then the, the the feathers will fall out out of the out of the mount later on um, that's why it's very important to use a an exacto knife if you can I've seen them use scalpels um, a scalpel is a little bit more exact than a utility knife but like I said this video is more for the home home uh, the home taxidermist a lot of people are starting to do it themselves now so we're gonna clean this meat off just stick that knife in there 
and I'll take my wire brush and that wire brush will loosen that meat and it'll scrape it right off that bone. That's what that's for. It'll loosen it up, strip it off, and then you can take your scissors and cut these pieces off. If it's your choice, um, you can use salt uh, to do the same things to stand in as the borax if you want to eat the meat um, it'll just be a little salty you can soak it in milk and uh, that'll take away some of the saltiness um, that'll calm it down a bit okay so now we have this drum that is stripped back to the uh, the wing there and like I said um, once you're done getting all of that meat out and I can I'm gonna go over this a little bit more and get that meat out but I'm gonna turn this wing back in itself just like it's supposed to be and uh, and I'll apply borax down in there just make sure you get all these tendons out and um, just clean up your bone as much as possible like I said, use a wire brush. A wire brush will do it real well. And then make sure to cut the drum head off. So then that drum head, just like you can see there, it's hollow down in there. There is nothing in there right now, but a lot of times um, you can take a piece of wire and clean the um, bone marrow out. So that's it for that part. And that's the part for cleaning the wings. Once again, get as much fat off as you can. Um, so you won't have that in there. I'm gonna turn this wing back in. So I put some borax on it, turn it back in, and then I'll fill it with borax also. And don't worry about the borax getting on the on the wings because it won't harm that at all. I mean on the feathers. On the feathers, it'll actually keep the feathers nice and plump. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang this bird and then uh, give it a week and it'll be ready.